Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 27 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. Let's uh, let's get this shit started. Like As go, I said dude? at the end of the last episode, we're gonna go to Toto Bunny and do the next map. Probably finish the chapter this episode, possibly, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Uh, because we have uh, a couple, some like cutscenes to get through and the three maps. Uh, not sure if we'll get to the last one, depending mm, on the length of the cutscenes. It's a splendid castle. But to a lady from Gorgeous, isn't this like a doghouse or a rabbit hutch? Gouch! You idiot! You really do have zero tact! Usalia, why do you have to corner yourself so much? Usalia, you are a demon, but you're still a child. It's only natural for your family to have protected your life. It can't be helped. No, Usalia has done something that she can never take back. Something that you can't take back? Yes. It happened right after Margarita cast her spell on me. I hated spicy food, so after the spell was cast on me, I cried every time I had to eat curry. My father and mother tried their best, and put in a lot of effort so that I could eat curry without any problem, Plip. But it didn't work. There were times when I acted like a brat because I didn't want to eat my curry. Usalia was a very, very bad kid, Flip. But one day... The curry my parents made for me was a special sweet curry. eating curry every day, so I told them it was yucky. To be honest, it was the best curry I've ever had. In the end, those were the last words I ever said to my parents. I bet they were really mad about how stubborn I was being, Plip. Because of their daughter's stubbornness, they were killed. So they must hate me. But no matter how much I regret my stubbornness, I can't apologize to my dead mother and father. Is that when you started to like curry? Yes. I swore that I'd eat curry without ever thinking about how yucky it was until I can get revenge for my parents. That's why I love curry now, Plip. Oh, what a tearjerker. I now see you in a whole new light. See, you should learn from Usali and try eating a carrot. Show some spirit. Uh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Why are they so friendly? For demons, especially overlords, the elite of the elite to share their heart-touching tales and sympathize with each other? This has to be a bad joke. Zero, Zero can always gets like the short end of every single stick. It's always like, aw, aw, no. So much bad shit's happening to him. So that's an enemy base panel. This let's is go. my panel. Um, let's just send him over here. Boom. They're dead now. That, that's just what they are now. They they are of the dead. Uh, Me too. Uh, boink. Uh, these guys are almost dead. Let's go, go, go! Um, I can right quickly make them. Fly away! Deceased. There. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Uh, yeah, this map is re relatively easy, because there's like a little bit of jumping, maybe, but that's if these guys don't move up. Um, and that's only on this side. Like, you don't even need to jump. Like, I'm gonna do right here. Boom, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna get rid of that warrior now. Boom, now he's over there. That person is dead next turn. Without a doubt. Um, yeah, gonna end turn there. Because I don't need anyone else out. So, more enemies. Oh! Oh, wow. I was... That's honestly surprising to me. That instead of attacking, they decided to throw. I... I like that. That... That's really, that's interesting to me that, that that was the choice of action. I wonder if that would, I wonder if that had to be like specifically programmed. Like if they like get thrown over there, your first action is to throw them back over. Because there's no like jump command. It's like you need a second person. I feel like, I, no, that's because you're in revenge mode. Is Usalia just in revenge mode? like, perpetually at the beginning of these maps? Like, is she just always in revenge mode during this entire sequence? Um, yeah, I don't need any more people. Yeah, realistically. I'm just gonna, gonna take care of them. Yeah, so just getting levels. Because they're close enough to my level where if you come kill multiple... Getting tongue-tied because I'm trying to say so many words at once. If you kill multiple of them at once, chances are you get enough XP to... That was a very long, like, voice clip for what it was. Nah, nah, it doesn't look like she's perpetually in... Or she may start uh, each level in... Why are you weaker? Like, you're one of the stronger people. Or do you have- and you have your physical one out. Attack, attack, none of these go based off of your intelligence. Except for magic boost, but I mean, that's to be expected. I guess I- I guess your moves just aren't pumped up enough. Because you have generally better stats in, like, attack and defense. Uh, Come on, counter. Counter? Counter kill, yes. Good. Counters are always nice when you, like, you know you got really close to being dead, but they just wouldn't get over that last little lip of it. Ooh, looks like it's over. Yeah, let's hurry. Crystal, your phone is ringing. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you guys go on ahead? I'll catch up with you. Hello? You took so long to answer your phone. I was worried that Void Dark had already killed you. By the tone of your voice, you don't sound very worried. No, I'm serious. You're too skeptical, Christo. So, what do you want now? I don't have much time to spend on the phone. It's nothing major, but... I thought I should inform you of something. Just now at the council meeting, hard-headed higher-ups with scary faces decided to destroy all the netherworlds! What? They're already making preparations. I've never seen a missile that huge. They're calling it the anti-netherworld annihilation weapon Armageddon! Wait a minute. I don't understand what you're talking about. Huh? I figured a genius like you would have been able to read between the lines. I'm pretty sure you know better than I do, but isn't Void Dark absorbing energy right now? We're all trembling with fear. So when it was decided to remove the cause of our anxiety, we all agreed with a standing ovation. We decided to destroy the entire Netherworld along with Void Dark. Now do you understand? Wait, everyone agreed? Does that mean you agreed to this too? But I'm still here. Yeah, I had no choice. It's better to bend than to break. Besides, we're the only two who know you're there. If I disagreed, I'd end up like you. They'd probably say, You're a spy for Void Dark too. I can't look suspicious now, can I? No. There's no point unless I'm the one who eliminates Void Dark. That's the only way I clear the suspicion around me. Right. The only way you can prove that you're not a spy is if you kill him. 
I guess you better go supersonic and finish him off, huh? All right, good luck. Dear God. So we just got some information that uh, the nether, like the entire nether universe, is uh, in danger because Let's fix you up. Uh, whoever that organization is recognizes the danger of Void Dark and the the danger that po poses to them as well. Um, let's save. Boink. Uh. Okay, something's always been bugging me. Don't want to bring it up, but I have to ask: Are you guys really demons? So he's like, because he's, because uh, he has been continuously bringing up like, you guys are so undemon-like. You guys aren't normal demons. Because <laughs> it's like you guys are so nice to each other. You sympathize with each other. You do undemonic things. You actively help. You actively care and love for each other. But other demons, like the ones that Crystal has in mind, are totally existent, like they are very true. One could argue that Void Dark is one of the truest demons, because he's just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go around kill, take over everything, I'm the strongest. So wait, hold on, I'm interested, how can we be more demonic? This sucks, I don't want to work, can someone take care of me from a printy? It's lack of spirit, low morale, and complete reliance on others. Those are ideal traits of a demon. <laughs> That's the ideal demon. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, printies, ideal demons. They're the best demons in the entire netherworld. The best. Um... Any more people I can interrogate? Yeah, let's, let's, let's interrogate this moth and this zombie. Because they're little shits. And I want them. Oh, that is the wrong one. Unfortunately, I cannot feed uh, people I have interrogated to my innocence. If I could, I would. That would I would love that. Like They're just like, you can be like, oh yeah, eat these guys. And grow stronger faster. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just pump it into that one. Might as well fill out the squad that I have started, then start a new one. Where would you like to go, dude? Try and chase two rabbits, you end up with neither. Uh, increase the stats of the unit with the most influence. That's... I think that's a very odd effect. Like, how do you know you have the most influence? Is that just, like, MVP? <laughs> oh, how wonderful to see garbage like you here. Oh, and the little daughter is with you. You've got guts! Coming up to us knowing that will beat you up, little brat! <laughs> it's just good manners to greet your guests, even unwanted ones. Let them go? Do you want me to kill them again? You're such a terrible daughter. Y you! Calm down, Usalia. Don't fall for her taunting. <laughs> I know what you guys want. You're trying to destroy Lord Void Dark's precious magical spear. Too bad. As long as I'm here, that's impossible. I want to ask you something, Margarita. Why does Void Dark want to absorb all this energy? He already has quite enough energy. What reason does he have for wanting more? <laughs> Do demons need a reason to desire more power? Well... In order to unify the Netherworlds and create a utopia, obviously the more energy you have, the better. It's hard to believe that he could be sane. How can he build a netherworld utopia after murdering countless demons? Survival of the fittest is common sense in the netherworld. No? 
It's common sense anywhere. It's their fault for dying. If they didn't want to die, then they should have been stronger. Demons who deserve to live will get their utopia. Those who don't deserve to live won't make it. It's that simple. That's wrong, Flip! Those who survive can decide whether it's wrong or right. That's how the netherworlds work. That's the kind of society we live in. What would a kid who grew up at her naive parents' loving side know about anything? You're just pompously pushing your own agenda, saying how life's sour and harsh. She didn't say either of those words. Today will be the day when I finally punish you really harshly! Super prepare yourself, Margarita! You again. The muscle gorilla. <sighs> Don't think I'll go easy on you just because you complimented me. That wasn't a compliment. I owe you big time. Since this is the last time I'll get to see you, I'll pay it all in full with super interest! <laughs> Don't be hasty. First, the opening act. Those are... The citizens of Toto Bunny! They're the ones who tried to protect this castle from Margarita! How do you like my overload skill, Broken Faith Machia? It's the same old bullying trick. But it's very effective. Yes. It's a lean strategy that cuts down an opponent's will to fight. What a terrifying overload skill. What will you do now? If they're in your way, you should destroy them. They're only corpses after all. S stop joking around! Obey or die. If you choose to obey, I'll let you join my corpses. <laughs> They really just didn't want to make a new design, well, make, like, battle animation sprites for the Toto Bunny King and Queen, because that's, like, they, they just, when they zombified, uh, like, these guys, they just, these are just the bunny corpses, so Let's it's go. not that big of a thing. But then, it's like, oh yeah, uh, the, <laughs> the mom and dad of, or the King and Queen of Toto Bunny, they're also corpses, but they're really just like sorta slightly altered zombie skins. So like, we really didn't wanna like make a whole nother set of sprites unique to like one or two battles. Uh, can I lift you and throw you into a decent position? Well, I'll just throw you over there. Um, minus. Let's super go! Okay? Yeah, it's fine. You got it. Um, boop. Hmm. Oh yeah, I got her Omega Star, but I mean that doesn't really do anything at this point. Um, yeah, unfortunately that's not gonna kill the thing, but still good to get some damage in. But th this, uh, this chapter really just sets in stone how much of, like, uh, like, how much worse, uh, Usalia has it than every other character in terms of situations. Uh, because, like, she is the child, so, of course, her character is a lot, like, less serious in general. But also lets her have like childlike uh, problems. It's like, oh yeah, I was being a brat. Like I wasn't being an adult. Cause why would I be? I'm not an adult. And it's like I, I'm dealing with shit no kid should have to deal with. 
and I'm like regretting certain actions that I took. But, you know, they're kid actions. They're things that most kids would do. Like if you were forced to eat one food that you hated, like every day, oh yeah, you, you wouldn't be a happy camper. I wouldn't be a happy camper. Like you get fed up with it, say things you didn't mean. Like you know that they're trying to do it for your sake, but it's like, don't like at this point I'm not really, I don't really care about that. I'm just pissed. I'm just angry. Let's go over here and do it. See, the thing I like about Overload Skills is it doesn't cast an action. So after this, I can just hit B, boom, he's back over here. <laughs> Which makes it so much easier than other other methods. Okay. And Hellfire Shot is useful because I can tap it proc like that. Yeah, the shadows are just going to be taking care of uh, this entire side of the battlefield. Um, you don't have much XP, so let's uh, let's blade rush you. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, because if I do damage, I'll be able to yeah proc those guys into. Unfortunately, didn't kill nearly as many as I had planned to. Also need, because I, I don't like Red Magnus, but I still want to, like, get him XP. Super Universe. And now his Lariat goes further. And... Gun? I reach you with Gun. Yes, I can. Bye. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'll just get rid of you, that way I can focus on other stuff. Let's go! And you're in revenge mode. I kinda wish you could uh stock revenge mode, be like, oh yeah, like like you procced and I want to store it. And just so you could uh, so uh, it would give a reason as to uh why uh like a boss fight is tougher. It's like, oh yeah, because you're supposed to not use the revenge mode. You're supposed to store it and then proc it when the boss fight happens. I do like mechanics where you like store something. You, know, you can just release it elsewhere. <laughs> that Margarita girl. She always leaves us with a bad taste. Is it after Usalia? It's still alive. No, it's a corpse, so it's dead. Or maybe not. Anyway, they're still tough. Bro, leave this to me. With my new skill that I've been secretly working on, Zoroken Punch! Wait, Zoroken. Don't stop me in mid-motion, bro! Master... Ugh. Looks like it used the last of its energy to give you that letter. A corpse that had its own will. Are Majorita's powers weakening? <sighs> what does the letter say? Read it, Lil Usa. This is the recipe to the special sweet curry flip. The curry that I told my parents was yucky. Is it just the recipe? There isn't any message written on it? The fact that their final letter was a recipe is kind of disconcerting. Usalia, can you let me see that? Th 
this is... My, it's rare to see Sir Kilia this surprised. Did you find a secret code? Yes, I did. At least, you could say that this is a code of sorts. Huh? The mixture and combination of spices suppress the spiciness, and the mixed vegetables bring the sweetness out to its limits. This recipe was made specifically for children who hate curry. It's a crystallization of hard work and wisdom. The spices are suppressed, but it's uniquely made so that even a child could understand the taste of curry. They most likely tried and failed many times. They must have had great tenacity, no, love, to get it to this point. For their daughter, Usalia, to live a happier life, they worked hard till the very end. Your parents weren't mad at you. They sure didn't hate you. They loved you very much. If they didn't have infinite love for you, then they wouldn't have come up with this recipe. Mother... Father... That curry actually was good. It was very, very delicious, Flip. Thanks to that curry, Usali was able to enjoy curry. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad, Usalia. What's up, Sarah? Are you gonna cry too? <laughs> what are you talking about? That was such a boring story. I was trying to hide my yawn. <sighs> what about you? Your eyes look watery. Shut up! I'm just sweating from my heart. <laughs> Damn it. That's so touching. Usalia, if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to tell me. Yes. Thank you, Flip. Demons possess love? This can't be. Why are these people doing the complete opposite of what I expect them to do? Don't let them fool you. You cannot be fooled. They aren't demons. So that that was that was a great scene. I lo I love I love that scene. It's like, uh, are you crying too? And he's like, no. He gets you thinking like he's gonna be like, I'm just sweating from my eyes. No, I'm sweating from my heart. <laughs> like, oh, it's great. And then you could just get Zoroken, who just doesn't give a like a rat's ass about even trying to appear manly in front of everyone. He's like, no, man. Like, Usalia, I'm your bro. You you have you need something? I got you. Like, I like that's one of the reasons why I like Zoroken. Is like definitely one of my favorite all around like Disgaea characters. Like Usalia, really good. Zerokin is also really good. Like if I was going to do a male female chart, like Usalia and Zerokin are very near the top of those charts. Usalia might even be the top of the female chart. Not sure. Kind of, like I would have to go through the games again and be like, okay, let's let's look at these. But, like, ugh. Sorokin is such a good character. Because he, he, he just... He just cares. He cares about people. And he doesn't care, like, about himself all that much. Okay, so I have no idea what this talk is going to be about. Uh, you want to eat more curry? Uh, <laughs> yeah, whenever you want to eat it, don't be reserved. Just speak up. Hey, bro, give me a large curry. <laughs> Everyone's just ordering curry so they can just share it with her, or she won't feel, uh, <laughs> feel nervous about ordering curry. But now she's just remembering her her parents and whatnot because of the letter. And uh, dude, I have to say that that one rabbit zombie, holy shit, he is an MVP of the Toto Bunny Kingdom. Like he died came back, was forced to fight against her, 
still used, like, he gave her that letter even after death. So props to that bunny. <laughs> so now there's just uh, Sally talking about her backstory, how she is with her parents and whatnot. Because uh, she was scared of strangers. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Give me the news. I got a bad case of fear in you. <laughs> when I was younger, I forced people to obey me. And my father always admired me for that. Yeah, you really have to think that, like, Serafina's reason for fighting Lord Dark is kind of like... the le Like, hers is just the most superficial, like, has the least actual reason. Because Kilia, obvious, he's like, like, I'm going to murder the fuck out of you for whatever happened in the past. Uh, you got Red Magnus is like, yo, your demon general stomping on my territory wrecking my cred, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, cause I wanna be the strongest, and fuck you. Christo, it's like, I need to kill Void Dark to make myself, like, prove my innocence. For whatever, for being set up as his spy. Uh, Usalia, it's like, yo, your demon general fucked with me, and I don't like that. And Zorokin is like, yo, you messed with my homeworld, you messed with the person I admire most in the world, and I'm gonna get you. And it's like, okay, all you have really good reasons. And then there's Serafina. My dad tried to arrange a marriage between me and Void Dark, who probably wouldn't accept it anyway. Because it's like, why would he... Why Void Dark doesn't seem like the person that would really care. It's like, why would he... Why would he get married to Serafina to... Like, become the overlord of Gorgeous or whatever, the partner of her, when he's probably easily strong enough to take it over himself. Like, he wouldn't need to. Um, okay. So I'm going to save. Like, that's, that's the thing that always gets me when I think about, like, Serafina's motivations. Where would you like to go, dude? It's like, you're angry at a dude for something he didn't even do. Really? You're more angry at your dad. Uh, but... Hope, I think this is the last map of Toto Bunny. That little brat! Where'd she go? Maybe not. My, isn't it weird? She's nowhere to be found. It's no use hiding. I don't know what you're up to, but why don't you just come out? Aw, you found me. Great job. Margarita's in trouble. Margarita! You! Do you think we're idiots or something? <laughs> I do. Let me just get this out in the open. The only idiot around here is this old man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are all idiots. What else would you call fools who are pointlessly throwing their lives away? It's not up to you to decide whether it's pointless or not. We'll be the judge of that. Stubborn. I'll make sure you never open that mouth of yours again. Kill and recycle. Mother! Father! Now for the main event. Kill each other. What are you all doing? Hurry up and get ready to fight! I, I know that, but when you consider Usalia's feelings, am I right, everyone? Why? Aren't you guys demons? Usalia, you decide what we're gonna do. Whatever you choose, we'll support your decision. Get it, little Usa. Hey, 
Usalia's mom and pops. Hit me as much as you want. It can't be helped. However, I would appreciate it if you only hit this muscle head. Master withstood the torture of the lost. Then so can I. Listen, everyone. Don't give up. If we can get through this, we'll have a chance of winning. <laughs> oh, you guys really are idiots. They're corpses. Are you going to be modest and let corpses kill you? I have to agree with Majorita on this one. What's wrong with everyone? At this rate, you really will die. You won't be able to get your revenge. Are you all really okay with that? <laughs> if you all want to die that badly, then I'll grant your wishes. Kill and recycle. I'll add you all to my collection. Now, kill them! What's going on? The corpses aren't following my orders. Mother? Father? Usa! Leah! Father? You must fight. Don't worry about us. Usa. I... Love you, our beloved daughter. Mother! The corpses disobeyed their master. Is, is this a miracle? No, not a miracle. The love Usalia's parents have for her beat out the evil energy. Don't be ridiculous. Love? Corpses should just keep quiet and obey me, like corpses do! If you love your daughter that much, then I'll turn her into a corpse right now! Die, little girl! Why? Why is she? Now I'm mad! I'm so mad! Mad, 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 mad! Usalia? I'm all right, Kilia. I can fight. I'm not lost anymore. I'll defeat Majorita. For my mother and father, who love me till the very end, I will defeat Majorita! What's with this annoying light? This is the same thing that happened to me! Has the time come for Usalia to awaken her new ability? Yeah, all the bad feelings Usalia had regarding her parents were stopping her. But now that they're gone, it's time for her new powers to awaken. So the evil spell magic you cast on Usalia disappeared from her body. Usalia turned the spell into a power and learned the overload skill Murmur of Rage. Possible. Not only did she repel my spell, but she turned it into an overload skill? Nice little Usa! But I won't let you have Majorita! I'm gonna finish her! On the other hand, it wouldn't be half bad to work together. What do you say, little Usa? Yes! It'll be the strongest tag team! Let's super do it, Flip! <laughs> you said it! All right, let's get super rowdy and make some noise! 
Okay, so let's let's get into this pretty uh, hyped up fight because. Vesalia has been an overlord ever since you get her. She's been the Toto Bunny overlord, but she didn't have the skill. Perform a mass attack, ignore support attack range for three turns. So, uh, in this fight, I am going to use primarily Usalia and Red Magnus to try and, like, sort of keep the cannon, as it were. Like, let's... I want to have them be the primary uh, participants in this fight. Um, let's overload. So her her thing is really cool because now she transforms into her super power form. So, let's go in here see if there's anything cool. Uh, Murmur of Raid for mass attack and ignore support attack range for three turns. So what I believe that means is she can just support attack from, like, anywhere. And in this form, she can't use her normal things, but she has this move. Which is pretty freaking awesome. Now, she's out of range of, like, everybody, but I'm going to attack, uh, cast Braveheart on her. All men are my Just so yeah. Sheila. Sheila. Um, that way she will not have to worry about like uh, her attacks not being strong enough. Um, Neil. Okay, so I'm gonna need to move you back. I'll just lift. Right there. I'll just uh, lift Seraphine and throw her towards them. Yeah. She's stronger with guns anyway. Um, nope. Uh, boop, boop, boo, victory bullet. <sighs> yeah, but I really like this form of Usalia's. It's just, it's just really cool, because you never get to really... Like, before this, you only saw it in cutscenes and in the one fight where you meet her. That, that's like, those are the only times in which you get to see her in the rage form. Uh, because it's, uh, part of the curse. But now, because, uh, because it is indeed uh, something that she has made a part of herself, she has become a better, like, fighter. Um, okay. I need to see if he has, like, because he's just, like, not strong. No? That's, I, that's the best bow I have. Do I have any better... Um... Our glasses. Yeah, you're yeah, the best ones I'm gonna get. And uh, he's using a bow, which is based off of attack and hit. Um, yeah, I'm not probably not gonna be getting anything better in terms of. I mean, I could might as well equip you. Because I, I don't want to have to use two attacks on these guys, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Because I know I'm going to get a crit. Hello. But I don't want to put Pram out. Um, yeah. No. Go. Uh, push comes to shove, I'm going to be using fire. Uh, let's execute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. So basically, if you attack, she just support attacks. Which is pretty freaking sweet. Glad fire has a massive range. Okay, so end turn. Enemies came out. Mega heal. So, I'm definitely gonna have to get rid of that maid first. Not that I have to worry about it. I'll never forgive you! Neither will I! I'll lay the crap down on you! Mother! Father! Please watch me! I'll get revenge for you! Usalia, you already are a splendid overlord. Usalia, my beloved daughter, please be happy. What's that? What are you dozing off for? The fight isn't over yet! Let's go, little Usa! Yes, Red Magnus! Hurry up and die! Mephistopheles. <laughs> 
that's a pretty cool move name. Although the only place I really know the name Mephisto from is, uh, it's from Blue Exorcist. Um, ooh, she, he doesn't have any combo Usalia moves. It's only, uh, Usalia that has it. Berserk Stream. Oh my god! Holy shit, that's gonna be awesome! Oh, please tell me I, I'll be able to... Oh, damn it, I need something that hits a little bit further. Capture skill, no, damn it. Um, spear gate, okay, cool. Awesome, and Berserk Stream is really strong. Spear gate, I can skip past that. Okay, good. I thought the support attack might do it. But yeah, Berserk Stream, which we may have seen when we were fighting her that time. But, oh, it's such a cool looking move, I love it. Because, I mean, how can something called Berserk Stream not look freaking, like, sick? It's just a good name. Like, that's one of the best names for moves I have ever heard. I love it. Trick Light. Um, I have no idea what that one did. Ultra Zombeam. Okay, so let's move you here. Kill those guys. Oh, damn. Okay, I wish you were stronger. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna capture you. I'm gonna take you as a memorial to my win here. And my sick assness. Because you guys are zombies, and you're mine now. So, boom. Usalia and Red Magnus, main OGs in taking down Madrida. Cannon kept. Loving it. And now I have an overload skill. I can't. I can't believe this trash. It can't be. Ponchos. Everyone. I've gotten revenge for Scorching Flame. Mother! Father! Usalia can finally. Watch out! She's still alive! Huh? Too slow. Watch out, Blitz! <laughs> Usalia! Little Usa! <laughs> How do you like that? The taste of this special venom. Aren't you becoming weak? Off, do you want me to be? You got lucky, Muscle Gorilla. You were such a stupidly big target, I had to aim for you. But then the little girl who I hate the most dove into it herself. I sure am lucky. <laughs> I will murder you! You don't have time for that. If you don't treat that little girl's wound immediately, she won't last an hour. Well, it really doesn't matter how much time you have. There's no possible way to neutralize that poison in this netherworld. At least save her the little time she has left. <laughs> uh, Usalia? Are you okay? Bro, she'll be fine, right? You can save her, right, bro? Uh, what should I... All who disobey Demon Emperor Void Dark shall suffer the pain of death. It's no exaggeration to say that that statement was common knowledge throughout the entire Netherworlds. So, finished episode 10. Ugh. The battle is over, and Toto Bunny is being restored. Here we see former Demon General Majorita working in the fields. Majorita is sentenced to do hard labor every day. The crime of destroying Toto Bunny is heavier than a planet. Ugh. Why do I have to do this? Majorita! Keep your hands moving, Cliff! 
Overlord Usalia unleashes her rocket paw punch on Majorita for slacking off. I... I'm sorry! What will become of the tragic Majorita? Next time on Unfortunate Girl Majorita, Episode 11, Karma is a Bitch, Plip! Delicious carrots kill and recycle! N no! Usalia isn't a bad girl, Plip! <laughs> Again, I love seeing Usalia just in the background thumbing through a wad of cash. <laughs> and just hearing, like, the slight swears in, like, games like this where it's like, damn it, and just hearing, like, a hard bitch is so great. Karma is a bitch, Plip. <laughs> so good. Hey, Usalia. Usalia! Can you hear me? It's no use, bro. She's not responding. Is there... is there anything we can do? Usalia, who awoke a new ability, has weakened this much in just a few minutes. She's in danger. Hey! Get a hold of yourself, little Usa! Who do you think you are saving me? You little... Usalia's face is already turning blue. Don't tell me! Usalia's young life is slipping away! Stop it, sis! Don't say that! Can everyone just take a few steps back? Crystal? What's gotten into you? Who are you to give me orders? Please move so that I can save Usalia. I didn't expect any of this to happen. Whoa! What's with this light? Th this skill? Looks like it worked. I'm impressed, little Sisto. What in the red hell did you do? It, it, it was nothing. Just ordinary, ain't I mean, healing magic. I was worried that it wasn't going to work, but that turned out to be simple anxiety. I don't feel any pain, Flip. She looks better. It looks like she's perfectly fine. Jeez, talk about malicious, little Sisto. If you have crazy healing magic like that, you shouldn't have held back on it for so long. You're, you're right. I haven't used that type of magic in a while, so it took me a while to remember how to do it. Crystal! Thank you very much for saving me, Flip. There's no need to thank me. You're an important part of our forces. I had to save you. By the way, Christo, there's one thing I don't understand. W what is it? Majorita declared that there's no possible way to neutralize that poison in this netherworld. Majorita is an experienced demon general. That venom wasn't something that could have been cured by ordinary healing magic. Well, that's... My magical power is beyond that because I'm an overlord. Hmm, is that so? What's up, Sarah? You're getting all up in Lil' Sisto's face. What's your problem with him? The magic Christo used it's awfully similar to that of the angel magic I've read about in literature. Uh, angel magic? Christo, I highly doubt it, but I must ask. Are you, in fact, an angel? <laughs> Me? 
An angel! You, you must be joking, right? That's preposterous. I can't even play along. What's with that look? Serafina, please leave my savior alone, Cliff. If Crystal was an angel, there's no way he would have helped a demon like Usalia, Cliff. That's right. I've never heard of an angel helping a demon before. Yeah, an angel would never help a demon. This man, Christo, is a splendid overlord. Kilia. Episode 11, Netherworld Extinction. Okay, so starting episode 11. After a cutscene like that. Oh, more cutscene. Mm. Bloodus! What are you doing here? It's my duty to protect this magical spear. I don't have time to deal with you. I heard you were severely injured during an encounter with the rebel army. Who the hell is spreading false rumors? I'm not like you. I wouldn't have any trouble dealing with those rebels. As a matter of fact, I just severely injured one of them with a special venom. Usalia, the heir of Toto Bunny, is still alive. L liar! There's no way to neutralize that poison in this netherworld. Y you're lying to me. You're just trying to confuse me. You don't believe anyone. Of course I do. The only person I believe is Lord Boy Dark, who turned my life around when I was a war orphan. I see. If you understand, then get the hell out of my face, Bloodus. Hmm. I feel like you don't just stop being... Okay, train at more martial train. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that's how you unlock, like, stage two and whatnot. I don't feel like you stop being a war orphan just because you're like, oh yeah, now my life is turned around, or whatnot. It's like, you're always a war orphan regardless. Okay, so I'm going to end episode 27 here. Uh, and we'll get to the chap... Uh, more of episode 11, chapter 11, whatnot. Uh next episode. So, I hope you all have a very nice day. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah, Prinnies, ideal demons. They're the best demons in the entire netherworlds. The best.